What is up, fellow YouTube community? Okay, I've already done plenty of videos on this before, but I'm just going to touch it up again because it's just good fun. And yes, I'm representing the Crips tonight. Support your local gang. Not that there's any Crips around here. You know, I'm just happy to be wearing a blue rag on my head. So anyway, chemtrails. I did a video on this before. Didn't come out the gate so hot, but I'm doing it again. Just because it's, like I said, it's a lot of fun. Now, a couple things that I probably haven't mentioned before is that there's so many conspiracy channels out there that are putting out information that they did not collect themselves. They read it on this site or that site and they just regurgitated it and made it fact. Such as like Harvard is doing global cooling down bull collect go got tied up there solar remediation whatever the crap they're advertising they're doing look all that harvard stuff is just a distraction to get you looking in the wrong direction to overcomplicate something that is so very simple none of this is complex controlling the weather is not complex but they want you to think that it is Sure, it probably takes a lot of money to do it. They don't care. Money don't matter to them. Just like when you look up and see FedEx jet spraying out the back, it's not a FedEx jet. It's I'm sure it's set up to do what it's doing. But like I've said before, it wasn't popular. All that's coming out is water because that's all it takes to change the weather. Natural water used in an unnatural way, changes the weather. Simple mathematics and mechanics. And I'm about to give a demonstration of my idea. You don't have to like it. Oh, one more thing before I give the demonstration. Show me the metal. Show me the whatever crap you believe there spraying in the sky. What goes up must come down. Unavoidable. So... Show me the metal. You're not going to find it because it's not out there to collect. Because they're not spraying crap in the sky, but what's already up there? Water. If you believe they're spraying metal up there, show me the metal. Go collect me some. Show it to me. Until then, all you have is some video somebody put up that's a stage production of, we found all this metal and all this blah 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 bull crap. It's fake crap for you to believe to keep you off of the simple fact of what's going on. Now, on to the demonstration. Now, just ignore that this is one of them flat earth maps. That's not what I'm trying to tell you here. And I don't care what you think the earth is, shape is or what it's made of or anything like that. But as long as you don't think it's anything that the system teaches you it is, you're doing better than just believing what they say. So anyway, let's just... Go to America, and we're, I'm going to give you the demonstration of what chemtrails are really doing and tell you what they really are. I've already done it before. Going to do it again. So, they're out sowing their grid, filling the sky where they need to, strategically, all that good stuff, and just pretend like this purple sand is their chemtrail. Okay. They've covered you up now where they've sown their field the natural weather system has more difficulty filling that spot so just use your imagination here it's better than looking at a screen and just letting it tell you everything this sand out here is going to be some natural weather system which would normally probably try to move in and give you rain or whatever weather it brings but because the grid is already full with what they've applied this has resistance and you get all kinds of fun weather due to that it creates a lot of problems one is that it's like a dam on a lake if you just leave the floodgates closed it's going to build up and build up until something gives it's the same kind of thing here which is why you get all the crazy weather you get. Rain when it shouldn't. Snow when it's just 
not really normal. So that's what they're doing. You don't have to believe the Harvard bullcrap, solar, whatever they're saying they're doing. That's just a distraction. There is no metals. There's no nanoparticulate bullcrap. They're using the most abundant thing on earth to do what they're doing. No more, no less. Water. Sorry for this being so long, but I got to do this one. Another popular one that people believe. They're terraforming the earth so that demons, aliens, and interdimensional beings can exist in this place after they've terraformed it. Total retardation. Demons, whatever, they don't need to change the environment to be here. If they want to, they can. Use your brain a little bit better. Anyway, we're done here. Hope that was fun. Thanks for watching.